Hello, I'm Nora Bird. I'm the Director of Graduate Studies for the MLIS Department at UNCG. I'm giving you a short introduction on how to fill out the applicant information section of an application on Apply Yourself. I've already set up a username and password, so I'm starting my application. You can see that there are several sections that you're going to fill out here. I'm interested in showing you the applicant information section. Here's the applicant information section for the application. Application term is the first thing that you'll fill out. In this example, I'm using Spring 2015. Application type can be either domestic, international, or non-degree. If you choose a non-degree visions application, you will have to apply later on for official admission into the program. Visions only allows you to take three courses in the MLIS department before applying for admission. I'm going to illustrate how to fill out the applicant information by choosing domestic. The next thing you choose is the program that you're interested in. Notice that the Library and Information Studies Department has three different program options. The first program is Library and Information Studies, and that is the Greensboro face-to-face -face main campus program. I'm going to illustrate the second choice is the Library and Information Studies online program. And the third choice is Library and Information Studies non-degree licensures. I'm going to illustrate the concentration major and degree certification licensure with the Library and Information Studies online program. For concentrations and majors, you have the choice of Library and Information Studies and these other two choices. Library and Information Studies is the general MLIS. Notice that MLIS fills out in the Degree Certification Licensure section. If you want to work in public, academic, or special libraries, this is the choice that you want to make. If you want to work in schools, you have two different choices. One is the School Library Media Program. This is the one that most people consider school librarian. This is the 076 licensure. Notice that MLIS, MLIS fills in here. You are getting an MLIS and a license. This is the 076 licensure. If you are interested in working with technology in a school, you can work towards an MLIS with an instructional technology focus. This is an 077 licensure only for school libraries. Notice if I choose just non-degree licensure programs, I get only licensure programs listed here. The first one is um, for a uh, post-master's certificate in instructional technology. The second one is for a post-master's certificate in uh, library media coordinator. You have to have an MLIS to get that certification. And the third is for the library media supervisor licensure. These licensures are only for school and are not for the general MLIS. So if you are interested in schools, choose the library studies either online program or in person and then choose one of these licensures. 